بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین آل نیومیریکلس وچ آر بینگ ایڈیڈ ٹو دا نیو ٹیکس بک آف کیمسٹری فار دا ایف ایس سی پارٹ ون سن ٹیکس بک بورڈ سو آل آف دیس نیومیریکلس آر ویری سمپلس اینڈ دے آر ٹوٹلی اباؤٹ دی سولیوشنس and colloids so I hope that you will try to understand remember all these problems are included in syntax new syllabus book so we have to proceed to our problems our target the problem number one is 60% weight by weight equal solution of ethylene glycol which has the formula C2H6O2 determine its molality and mole fraction of ethylene glycol. So first of all, a solution contains 60% of ethylene glycol. It means it has 60 grams of the ethylene glycol per 100 grams of the total solution. And uh, if we consider the solution up to 1000 kilograms it means they will be equal to 6 because 100 grams is the tenth part of the solution which is which has mass equal to 60 grams therefore if it contains 60 grams per 100 if we divide it into 1000 grams then it will be equal to 6 grams of ethylene glycol by mass into the solution and 40% water by mass. It means that out of 100 grams of the solution, we take 40 grams of water per 100 grams. It means for 1000 grams or 1 kg of the solution, we are required only 4 grams. So now molarity of the ethylene glycol is number of moles can be calculated by the formula mass of the compound divided by its molar mass. The exact mass which is given or provided is 60 divided by 62. It means 0 0.96 grams per mole. And the molarity of the water molecule is 40 divided by 18. So it's equal to 2.2 grams per mole. Now we have to find out molality. So we have to calculate the molality. The molality of the solution or solute in kilograms will be equal to equal to 40 grams of the water divided by 1000 is equal to 0 0.04 kilograms. And if the molality mole of the solute of so, uh, and its formula is moles of solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. So the moles of the solute are equal to 0 0.96 and divided by the moles of the solvent which is equal to 0 0.04 so after div division we take the answer 24 moles per kilograms of the solution so this is the molarity of the 60 percent weight by weight equal solution of ethylene glycol now we have to proceed next it's option b or part b now we have to calculate the mole fraction means x the number of moles of ethylene glycol so as you know the formula to calculate the mole fraction is the number of moles of ethylene solute or solvent divided by the total number of moles of the solution so we have to calculate the mole fraction of ethylene glycol it is equal to 0 0.96 moles and the total number of moles means 2.2 moles of water and 0 0.96 moles of the ethylene glycol they become equal to 3.18 so 0 0.96 will be divided by 3.18 it becomes equal to 0 0.301 so this is the mole fraction of ethylene glycol in the 60% weight by weight solution of 
ethylene glycol. The next problem, problem number two, a solution is prepared by mixing 46 grams of the ethanol and 180 grams of water. Calculate the mole fraction of both components. As you know that the number of moles of ethanol as 46 grams of ethanol, if we divide 46 by 46, because 46 gram is also gram per mole, is the molar mass of ethyl ethanol. So 46 divided by 46 becomes equal to 0 0.1 moles. Now we have to calculate the number of moles of the water. So 180 divided by the molar mass 18, which is the molar mass of the water, 180 is the provided mass. So if 180 is divided by 18, it becomes equal to 10. Now this is the number of moles of 180 grams of water, means 18 moles. So first of all, we have to calculate X or mole a fraction of ethanol. So ethanol has how many moles? Ethanol possesses 10 moles. Ethanol possesses 1 mole. 1 mole is divided by 11. That is equal to 0 0.09. And if we take the mole fraction of water, it is 10 mole. So 10 divided by 11, that one equal to 0 0.0, 0 0.909. So this one is the mole fraction for water. Now we have to proceed from the problem number three. 0 0.1 kilograms of the rock stone, which contains 0 0.005 milligrams of gold. Calculate the concentration of gold in part per million and part per billion. As part per million can be calculated by the formula, weight of the solute divided by the mass of the solution n to 10 power 6. So, 1 milligram is equal to 10 power minus 3 grams or 1 into 10 power minus 6 kilograms. So, it will equal to 0 0.005 divided by 1000 into 10 power 6. So, this will become equal to 5 into 10 power 3 or 0 0.005 part per million. So here in these slides, you can see 10, 109 minus 6 or 10 minus 3 or 10 uh, minus 3. These minus or 10 minus 6 kilograms or grams, these are actually 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 3, 10 power minus 3, 10 power minus 6. So don't be confused about these minus 6 minus 3 109 this will be equal to the power so this will equal to part per million of 0 0.005 moles per solution as part per billion the weight of solute is divided by the weight of solution into 10 power minus 9 so if we multiply this one 0 0.005 divided by 1 kg or 1000 into 10 power 9 this becomes equal to 5 ppb or 5 part per billion so this was all about or all solutions hope you will understand these all kinds of the problems and if you have comments or if you have suggestions about these lectures so please do comment and help us to guide thank you Thank you very much.